the Lord shorten the day, even the very elect. Huh? Yeah. Can be be long. I, I, I don't I don't think myself happy. Amen. I think myself that made it. It's like my old uh, apostle said, uh, till you acquire the D. Yeah. <laughs> you you, you got to get that D and put it on save to be complete. Yeah. Until you have reached that goal. Because as long as we're in this flush, amen, the flush is going to war against the spirit. And likewise, the spirit against the flesh. We are in an eternal bell, amen, to death do us part. So every morning, the Lord bless us to wake up. We got to be ready. We got to be ready. Folks to do all kind of stuff, sinister stuff, amen, because they being led by the devil. You see, why is all of this happening to me? Why is my journey, why is my race? So hard. Well, God has a purpose for you in your in your life. And the enemy is trying, amen, working overtime, burning the midnight oil, trying to derail you. The Bible said we not only have to get rid of every sin, but we gotta get rid of every weight. Amen. A weight. Somebody, amen, has weight on them, amen, because, amen, the weight is detouring them, amen, from their course. It's, it's, it's sidetracking you. One of the old tricks I know the devil played on me when I was a babe in the law when he lured me out that time. Can't lure me no more because I, I got away. I got away. And, and, and ain't no seconds. But one of the things he, 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 he lured me away with was going to night school. So you work all day, go to school all night. Come home about 1.30, uh, 12.30, 12.45, like riding all the way from Eastfield all the way to Oak Cliff. He sets little traps. And I pleaded with my, I'll do this, I'll do that. Uh, I'll come in there, if I have to come in there with my work clothes, i sit up in the back, man. The devil's made me do this. Yeah, I could truly blame him for that because he, he, he orchestrated that. So we, we have to be, what, careful for nothing. Amen. When it comes uh, 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 to the statutes and, and to the standards of God, can't be no compromise. No compromise. See, the Bible said that if any man loved the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Amen. For all the things, for all that is, is in the world is the lust. Huh? Is the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eye, hey, and the pride of life. Three main attack areas. Well, the enemy. We have so much trouble trying to protect our kids. One of the hardest things for me to do, um, me and my wife to do, was when my daughter was in school to go shopping. God. She said, you have to take her. She don't want to listen to me, and I have to take her. But I'm trying to save her soul. Because, see, I know about Slick Willie. Uh-huh. I know about that lying tongue and them flattering eyes and all of that. And so it, it's hard, amen, but it wasn't hard in the day. But because we have given in to the lust of our, the fashion, we're not supposed to be keeping up with fashions. I mean, God bless you with nice things, but you, 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 you don't have to try to keep up with fashion. My, 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 my standards say don't mark up my body. My standards say don't gamble. I got to say the date that Lotto hit the streets in Texas. 
I ain't bought a lot of tickets. I ain't go buy them. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a firm believer because I, this is what I know. We all have struggles. We all have financial issues. But I also know this. When I couldn't, God opened the door that could. They paid a three-month rent up and gave me change in my pocket. I know that. I don't know what your testimony is, but I know what my testimony is. Amen. They called me in the court to, to put me out. <laughs> See, too late. <laughs> God came and gone. See, yo, to maintain a standard of the saints, you have to have a mindset. I shall not let nothing. Separate me from the love of God. I can't let nothing. I can't let my wife. I can't let my kids. Both parents are dead. If they were here, couldn't let them. Because if it hadn't have been for Jesus, who was on my side, when the day that I found out about the Holy Ghost for myself, when I was almost in a pistol play, and I was running for my life, The Holy Ghost intervened and urged his way into my life. Well, I couldn't deny it. I couldn't deny it. I was so shook up. I said, all I want to do is call my mama. Come on now. This is mama's baby. All I want to do is call my mama. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. And when I called her, the third thing out of, out of her mouth, then the first thing out of her mouth, you ready to get saved? Show nothing. Show nothing. Show nothing. Show, show nothing. I'm ready to get saved. She said, Well, you gonna live with me? I say, even better. Even better. Tuck me out of that environment. Because I took all them folks, prelude and God. <laughs> I couldn't go back if I wanted to. <laughs> and thank God I didn't want to. Amen. Amen. Uh here it was on under attack. The integrity of holiness is being challenged. Yes, Folks sitting in the pool pit saying, oh, don't take all that. Just calm down. You're just a little excited. You're right. I'm excited. I'm excited I escaped hell and on my way to heaven. You, you're right. I am a little excited. Amen. If, they, if making it to heaven don't excite you, I don't know what will. So, so they, 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 they say, oh, just come on. Be yourself. No. The Bible says, 2 Corinthians 5 and 17, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. I don't want to be myself. I want to be a new creation. I want to be myself. I know what self took me. Amen. So you, you, you I love. My sister-in-law before the took on, she said, holiness I hope I get it right. Holiness might be tight, but it's just right for her. See, ain't no after this. This, this is it. This, this is it. Ain't no after this. This is it. We, amen, that are on our way to heaven, amen, if you ain't enjoying the trip, you better get used to it because it ain't going to be number one big church. In heaven. This is it. Amen. So what the, what are you talking about integrity of holiness? It is the quality of being honest and having strong moral principles. We have to possess those qualities. Amen. We have to be able to love our enemies. We have to be able to pray for the one that tried to get you fired, the one that tried to get you evicted, the one that tried to take your old man, the one that tried to take your wife. You have to pray for those that, that do you wrong. 
You almost have to live in a, in a state like Paul said, I, in the body or out of body, I, I don't know. Somewhere up in the third album, he had an out of body experience. And sometimes we as children of life, we have to live like, it ain't me. He ain't talking to me. Because we, we can't allow ourselves to get entangled, to get entangled back in the things that we have been delivered from. How can I go tell somebody it's all right to smoke when I know the Lord delivered me from three packs a day and all I could beg up on? How can I do that? You know, I'm not like the boxer that got in the ring and after the, after the fight, uh, he said, first of all, I want to thank God, you know, for letting him win the fight. I want to thank God. How, how, how do they do that? I mean, first of all, God is God. He's the highest of highest. How can you summon his presence and you almost just beat a man out his head and say, God gave me the, the victory. I was just two devils out there fighting each other. Don't tell it, tell it like it is. Amen. See, see, we, we so easily buy into this world system. We we can't we can't we can't afford to to buy into this world system. He said you love the world. The, he's talking about the the ungodly, the world. You know the one that you be looking at MTV with. You know them that wearing the skirt so short and look like a blouse. Yeah, them them folks. Yeah 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 them folks. So. A man that respect himself can respect others. Respect yourself. Don't be a tool that the devil can use. Have some integrity about your stance in God. Amen. Have a standard about yourself. Little boy wanna hold hold your hand. You don't need to hold my hand. I can walk. Have some, have some, cause see, people are watching you, and the devil ain't playing with you. That's why the scripture say he seeks who he may devour. I'm gonna tell you something, and, and it's true. A uh, 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 hunter, a uh, uh, predator, they don't look, they don't search for the one that look like they got it all together. They don't. That, that's a fight. That's a battle. That's something hard. They look at the one that's lagging behind. Church started 30 minutes ago and you're still on your way to church. 30 minutes ago, church started. You might be getting that time for the benediction if that's where you're going. So, but we, we have to do better. We have to do better. We, we, I know we love God. I, I, I know we want uh, to make heaven our home for eternity. But we're going to have to follow leadership. We're going to have to follow guidelines. It may save you. I know what it is to be rebellion. I know what it is to be... To, I used to tell them in my family, I was the youngest. I said, when I get old, I'm going to beat up all y'all. All y'all that gave me all them whoopings. But you know what? Them whoopings kept me out of penitentiary. Them whoopings kept me from killing people. When I thought I was, I thought about them whoopings open up the, having a conscience and knowing that what might happen. We have to learn, amen, to appreciate 
Amen. The love that people are showing us and caring enough about us to try to teach us the right way. Nobody talked when I was a kid. Nobody t- talked about. Only time you hear it holy, you hear the, the Holy Bible in my house. Some of y'all was blessed. Y'all, y'all had good families. They was going to church. The Lord worked on my family in the 70s. I was way over across the sea. And the Lord saved them. And they began to send me all those witnesses and all them flowers and all them, you know, tracks and things. They were planting those seeds because they loved me. They were praying for me because they loved me. And your family are praying for you and you are praying for your kids because you love them. They may not see us right. But they're going to see us right in God's will. That's what counts. My time is wound up. I thank God for what I have been able to grasp about having some integrity. Having some appreciation for the sacrifice that Jesus did that I can have life and I can have it abundant. I thank God for giving me a standard. Amen. Where I didn't have to depend on girlfriends. He gave me a wife. He gave me a standard and a statue where I can get a job. I don't have to be on the street hustling. I thank God for giving me a standard that my kids think respectful of me because I'm no longer the the person that I was, and it's all because of God. It's all because of Christ dying and me appreciating, amen, the price that was paid, the blood that was shed, amen, for my soul. So I am what I am today because of a standard. You can fool some people, as I said earlier, some of the time, but you never, never, ever can fool the fool that was fooled once before because he he's hip to it now see I made my spiritual error and that was over about 24 years ago just like Roberto Duran when the sugar ray put them beads on him he said no mass no more will a devil ever have, give, give him the edge to fool me because I love me some Jesus and if you ever want to strongly invest your love in something, that will get you up them cold mornings and going to work for your household. That's love. Yeah. Amen. Amen. That was, amen. When, when, when you hungry, amen, but they all smiling and sleeping good, that will make you keep, keep on go getting it because God have, is doing a work in you. And they may not never really know all that the men go through to his brother. They may not know all that we go through, all the sacrifices that we made. But every now and then, give him a part of that story. And maybe, just maybe, they can find out what it, it, what it takes to really be a man. Because putting on a pair of pants don't make you a man. So brothers, as well as sisters, Brothers, be encouraged because the Lord that we serve, he said, I'll make you the head and not the tail. I'll make you the, the lender. What? I'll make, you, I'll make you the what? The lender, not the borrower. And you know what? I'm the youngest in my family, and every one of my siblings that are alive, come to me. Come to me. Little old me. The one they used to spank all the time. Get on home with you. Yeah, they come to me. So I've seen that. God's word is right. God's word is true. We need to uphold that standard that makes God smile and see us as dear children. That one day, amen, our reward, we will get to reap that windfall. And on this life, in this life, Not only light to come. God bless you. And may God keep you as I pray. Maintaining a godly standard. 
amen, that God will smile on you. Come on. Tell me. Only one standing, please.